The other thing you, that you can use these four notes for, other than just playing a melody that you've learned over the top of your loop, is to do some improvising, which is just making it up using your own choice of rhythms, your own combination of notes. Anything goes really with improvisation. So we're going to add some extra sections on at the end so that you can try that. So let's go to the plus sign and we're going to select section A and duplicate. Section B, duplicate. And then we'll do that again. Section A, duplicate and section B, duplicate. So you should now have three bars, one bar, three bars, one bar, three bars, one bar. Select all sections. And then come up to the top left hand and we're going to tap on the tracks view. Now this track along the bottom here, this retro wah track is your melody that you've recorded, but we only want to hear that once in section A and B so that in section C onwards you can do improvisation. So we're going to select and delete this track in sections C, D, E and F. Okay, and then you can come back up to the guitar view by tapping this button up in the top left. And now you're ready to play and listen to section A and B before you come in with some improvisation. I'll give you a wee example of how to try that in the next clip and then you can do it and see how you get on. So now I'm going to listen to my melody recorded in sections A and B and then I'm going to use the notes B, A, G and E to do some improvising over the extra sections on the end. So there's not really any wrong notes or rhythms when you're improvising, you can just have a bit of fun and those four notes will work over the top of your track.